Our big local story this morning, an elementary student suspended after bringing what school district officials believed was a threat list to class. And that incident combined with one that also happened earlier in the week, it was a report of a student touching some girls on a school bus, has some parents asking, when do you cross the line into criminal activity? And COIN Local 6 reporter Carla Castaño joins us live in Beaverton. Carla, this is causing a pretty heated debate. That's right. It really depends on who you talk to. Parents have differing opinions about the way the Beaverton School District handled this incident. This after a fifth grade student at Bethany Elementary took a so called threat list to school. Immediately he was suspended, and the Washington County Sheriff's Office was called. Now, state law requires, quote, notification if person possesses threatening list. And that's exactly what Bethany's principal did. But did it go too far? I'm sure that parents and teachers and the principal can sit down and talk about it. I mean, these are little kids. I'm also a nurse, so I know that you report anything you're suspicious of and the proper people will investigate it. But Coin Local 6 has now obtained this letter about the incident, which reads The list came from the boy who attended a birthday party and played a violent video game and had contained several names of his friends he played against in the game, then later forgot to take the list out of his pants pocket. Meanwhile, at Skyline School, police are investigating two incidents of a seventh grader inappropriately touching two girls on a school bus. Many parents tell Coin Local 6 off camera the incidents again were blown out of proportion. They say, they don't believe that police should be investigating. They don't believe that police should have been called at all. They think that the school should have handled it on their own. Reporting for you live in Beaverton, Carla Castaño, Coin Local 6. Car